So one thing that I carry in my backpack, regardless of the season, is some way of purifying or making safe my drinking water. In the winter time, it's usually just boiling the water, but in the summertime, I carry water filters. Most of the time, I carry something that is just large enough to filter the water that I'll need for my personal needs. But there are times when it'd be nice to be able to filter and purify larger quantities of water, especially if I'm leading a guided hike, like I quite often do now. So that's where something like this may come in happy. This is the water filter system from Membrane Solutions. If you're interested in hearing more about it, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I just want to thank MS Pure, the company that sells and distributes this, this product from Membrane Solutions, for sending it to me so that I could share it with you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, or bring the camera in closer so that I can show you all of the contents of this bag. And at the same time, I'll give you some specifications and talk about the technology and how this is intended to be used and then I'll set it up and I'll filter some water. So before we get started, I'll just mention that I will be putting links in the video description for all the information that I'm going to share with you, including the physical and performance specifications for this filter unit, as well as where you can purchase it. I think you'll find that there's some interesting information about Membrane Solutions and MS Pure, because prior to having received this, I had not heard of them before, but they had apparently have a long history of producing water filter systems for both the industrial and residential uses so this is just an extension of that bringing it to people who like to go to the outdoors so let me show you what's inside of the bag so there are two primary components first off is the reservoir the bag that holds the water of course and this is a six liter bag it's made of a it feels like a very heavy-duty PVC type material. There's quite a bit of information on the back if you want to read all of that. Uh, it is a gravity-fed system. It has a roll top like you would on a dry bag and a strap that allows you to hang it in a number of ways over a branch on a tree, from a tripod, over a line, I guess, and, you know, the number of ways and the connection point on the bottom. So uh, not a lot to say about this, except that it feels like a good quality and holds a lot of water, as you can see. Put that aside. And the other primary component, of course, is the filter itself. Now I'll take this apart in a, in a second so that you can see uh, the technology that's inside of this. But the two things I wanna say about this, it is a little bigger than a lot of the personal use water filters, but then again, this is going to, uh, filter a lot more water a lot faster but this still is a personal use filter there's an attachment point here and although i don't have it on there is a lanyard that i'll show you in a second that does come with this so you can hang this around your neck or carry it like this in a carry bag without the big water reservoir if you don't want to take all of that with you it can still work as a personal one person type of water filter with a much faster flow rate than many of the others do all right put that aside for one second show you what else is in here there is a silicone tubing with a clamp to lock off the flow that attaches to the reservoir and to the filter itself. And a small bag of accessories. I will tell you now that I have made a modification to this, which I will explain when I get to that part, but uh, uh, and nothing serious. It's just the way that you would attach it to the bag and everything. This is the lanyard for wearing around your neck and that would attach to the filter if you're not looking to use the reservoir with it. This is the piece that attaches into the reservoir and then this end of it, it will attach to the filter, the in, in port, in flow port, I guess, on the filter. This is one thing that I did modify and I'll show you that in a minute. This is the cap that you would put on the outflow if you want to use it as a drinking straw, filter straw, so that you can draw directly from a water source through the filter and into your mouth. So that is your mouthpiece and it screws on obviously. little tiny cap that would go on the filter and like a lanyard so that would cover over the mouthpiece just to keep it dirty and maybe to keep any water that was left behind in the filter from getting everything wet in your pack. 
an adapter piece that you can use on the filter to attach it to a bottle larger than the bag or larger than other bottles. I will tell you right now, and I brought with me, this will fit a standard size water bottle or pop bottle, as well as the Canuck Vecto, which I previously reviewed. And finally, inside of this little baggie, is the instruction and warranty information. Good stuff to have for sure, a good reference. It's not as complete as I would like it to be. I'll explain that in a moment. All right, let me put this away. So let's come back to the filter. We'll talk a little bit about its technology and how it works. By the way, the entire setup that I just showed you in its bag comes in at 340 grams. So I'll put the ounces on the screen and in the video description below because I don't have it handy to me. So it's not all that heavy and really this is not all that bigger than something like say maybe the Sawyer is, kind of like the Sawyer Squeeze, uh, somewhere between that and the Sawyer Mini. So okay, now take note that there is an arrow on the filter underneath the membrane solutions and obviously that is the flow direction so this is where the dirty water enters and this is where the clean water exits now on the end of this is a small silicone cap that membrane solution recommends you keep on there i guess it does a couple of things it keeps water from leaking out like i mentioned a minute ago and keeps it clean from any contamination on this end this will come apart from either end but I'll take it apart and this is the important and what I really uh, think is important for you to see because uh, when I took it apart, I wasn't sure how to put it back together because I wasn't paying attention. So I'm providing this to you now so you don't go through the guessing game and did I put it back together properly. So remember the dirty water goes in through this end. So let's start from that end. So I can screw the cap off. I'll hold that on my knee. And on the end right here is an activated carbon filter. So that's the first thing the water's going to go through. So they're using uh, charcoal, charcoal coconut shell. So it's coconut shell that's been turned into charcoal and that's what's used for the granulated active carbon filter inside of this. And these are replaceable. You can purchase extra ones for those as well. Now let's see. I'll take apart the other end because the rest of the filter flows out. Oh, sorry. Didn't show you that. I took the end off and here's the rest of the filter. So the rest of the filter is made up of Zero, uh, 0 0.1 micron hollow fiber ultra, ultra filtration membrane and a double polypropylene fiber filter. I have no idea what all that means except that it has a very, very fine filtration rate. So fine so that it will remove 99.99999% of protozoans such as Giardia, Cryptosporidians, bacteria, microplastics, and uh, it will also remove things like the, any odor on the water, iodine, chlorine, and heavy metals. So this is the part that's removing all the organic toxins that you might come across, the ones that are probably the most common such as the protozoans and the bacterias but it, it is the carbon filter that's going to be removing most of the iodines iodine chlorine heavy metals and other orders odors from this uh, from the water before you drink it and part of the reasons why I took it apart so that you could see this is is because membrane solutions recommends as part of its maintenance that once you get it home you do a couple of things you back flush it to, to wash out any residual dirty water uh, in it and then you cake it apart and let it dry so you do need to how, know how to put it back together again so let's do that now so once again you can see the arrow for the flow is going in this direction Direction means the water enters in this direction so that's the first thing that comes in contact is with the carbon filter here's the rest of the micro my, 0.1 micron hollow fiber alteration membrane thing whatever and it goes in and stops inside of there and then that end goes on snug it up the other end goes on by the way there are silicone uh, seals inside of these things Oop, drop my filter 
make sure that they're on, there's no dirt or anything. Make sure they're snug. You don't have to over tighten them, but just make sure they're good and snug. And now it's reassembled and we're ready to set it up. So what I thought I would do is just show you a couple of other items that I have put together with this system for the purpose of this demonstration. And then we'll go down to the lakeside, we'll get some water and I'll set it up and fill my water bottle. All right, I have two other things I wanted to show you that I have with the water filter today. They're not necessarily things that I would take with me on a regular basis, but I just wanted to show you how they work. So this is a, an ultra cheap bottle of water you might get at a grocery store, corner store, the very, very thin crinkly ones. The reason I wanted to show you this is because you can use this in one of two ways. You can use this as a reservoir for the dirty water so that you uh, don't have to use that large uh, reservoir bag and then you can attach it to the inflow end. Let's do that now again, the inflow end. So it is the standard screw, so it'll go on like that. You could also have another one of these that you would use as your clean water. So it again, it would go on your outflow end. So it has the standard threadings for most water bottles and pop bottles. Really what I keep it at home for is back flushing because you don't have to have any special device for back flushing. As long as you're using clean water, that's vitally important, clean water, go to the outflow end, once again, directed by the arrow, take your clean water, screw it on, squeeze it through until you've got water flowing out the other end of it, and then you know you have backwashed or back flushed all of the dirty water. So it makes it very easy, nothing special. If you ever lost one of these, you just pick up another one somewhere. Okay, the other thing I wanted to show you is this is something I previously reviewed in another vector reviewed in another uh, video, and this is the Canock Vecto Water Bladder. Uh, this is a great product, it really is. It is a good heavy material. Again, it comes with a standard size screw cap on top, although there are options if you want to use a different size water filter. And what I really like about this, of course, is that it has the sealable end, so it makes it very easy to fill this up. I use this with my other personal water filters all the time because it rolls up nice and small. So it's not a bad system if you want to put the two of these together and just uh, instead of carrying around the large six liter membrane once again, or six liter reservoir, once again, take the cap off. And by the way, uh, this is, I actually have a couple of these. I did lose the orange cap off of my other one and I took a red cap off of a bottle of Coca-Cola and it was the same size and fits right on. So that was good. Again, I would use this as a clean or a dirty water reservoir that I would attach to the inflow end of the bottle. Like that. And then I could either filter water, drink it directly from the mouthpiece if I attached it on the end, or I could squeeze it into a larger water bottle. But of course, we're demonstrating this setup as something you might use for multiple people, or you just want to filter a whole lot of water at one time. So let me fill the reservoir up. I'll show you how I attach the filter to it, and we'll filter some water into my canteen. So I've got about uh, three and a half liters, I guess, here. That's more than enough for this demonstration. And I, now I'm rolling the end over so that I can snap it shut. And uh, we'll take it back and we'll set it up for filtering. All right, so I have hung the reservoir with about four, four and a half liters of water in it over an old tripod sitting here just because it makes a nice stable place and it was easier to find this to uh, set it up than it was to try to find a branch. Here's my water bottle ready to put water in. So here's the modification that I made to the system. So here again is the filter and this is the flow ho or the hose that you receive with it. And when it arrived, this is what it looked like. It was one continuous piece and you would attach it to the end of the reservoir 
and you would attach the filter to the end of the hose and then water would flow directly out of the filter into whatever it is you were uh, collecting the water in. I found that a little awkward personally. I mean it works. I found it a little awkward to have the filter all the way down inside of the bottle or somewhere like this. It was just a little bit, uh, not more work, but you know it was there was a tendency for it to want to knock things over. So I decided to cut it so that I can insert the filter and have it up close to the bag itself. So I need to attach both pieces to it. Remember again which way the inflow and the outflow goes. So I put that little piece of hose on, attach the other piece. I have the uh, lock piece here shut so the water's not going to flow until I'm ready for it. I'll put the hose down inside of the water bottle. And on the bottom of the reservoir here is the attachment point. It has a push button lock that matches, mates up perfectly with this uh, connection. And now we're ready to go. All I have to do is open up the lock and let the water flow. And flow it will once it gets going. Sometimes I find there's a little bit of a lock in the water and then all of a sudden it just seems to take off. All right, starting to flow now. So as far as flow goes, the, this has a flow rate of, or at least a rated flow rate of uh, 200 milliliters per minute. So you know, not quite a cup of water per minute. Um, I've never really measured or timed it to see how fast it does flow, but it does flow very, very fast. I've already got a, well, well most to a cup of water in there already. So it flows much faster than say my Sawyer or any of the other products I have. Now, as far as how long it will last, it's supposed to last upwards of 5,000 liters of water. And you know, that's one of those things is how do you know when you've put 5,000 liters of water? Unless you measure every time and keep a record, likely like me, you're not keeping that close a record. So the better test is when this slows down and much more than two liters uh, or 200 milliliters per minute, then it's time to think about replacing it. So it should not take, like it should still continue to flow very fast up until the point where it starts to get clogged. But of course, if you do regular maintenance on this, with the back flushing, then you should not have to uh, consider removing the, or replacing the filter at that time until, you know, for quite some time down the road. All right, I'm going to fill my water bottle up and then we'll have a few more closing words about the Membrane Solutions 6 liter gravity fed water filtration system. <sighs> oh, that's nice. Okay, so once you have finished and you've dumped all the water out. Easiest thing to do at that point, of course, is to roll up the bag itself like this. Put that inside of the carry sack. Like that. Now I have the filter. Uh, I have most of the water drained out of it, but I will be back flushing and taking it apart for drying once I get it home. But I remove the hoses off of either end. And there is that cap I mentioned somewhere in this bag of items, a little tiny silicone cap, but uh, I won't bother with it right now, but put the filter in, grab the hose, fold it a couple times to put it inside of the bag. Now, likely when I take this out, I won't be carrying all of the little components with me, but for today, I have them with me for demonstration purposes. I'm putting those in last. Draw the bag shut, ready to go. Okay, so just a couple more comments on the uh, membrane solutions, this being the six liter gravity fence system. So membrane solutions does offer a couple of products. One, they offer this, which is a combination of the filter and the reservoir, but you can get the filter alone without the reservoir and, and it's a personal straw so that you could attach it to something else like a water bottle or that Canuck Vecto bag or some other bag that you might have. And it will uh, 
filter high volumes of water very quickly and it's hanging around your neck so if you come across a source of water that you want to drink directly from then you have everything you need at hand you don't have to have this bigger system personally to me it seems to make more sense to buy the bigger system on the off chance that you will be using it for uh, more than one person so maybe well like when i take the guided hikes out i can have upwards of uh, 10 or 15 people uh, more often than not they bring water with them but occasionally Occasionally they forget and occasionally they run out and on a hot hot day you can't have that happen so I'll find a water source this is ideal for filling up everybody's water and uh, making sure they stay well hydrated which is so vitally important during the summer months and the winter months for that matter okay so that's all I can tell you about the uh, membrane solutions six liter gravity fed water system I, I think it's quite amazing it the technology with that one gaff or that one I, I don't want to call it a mistake one little piece of information that wasn't obvious and I had to do a little research on is how to reassemble it after you take it apart for routine maintenance other than that um, it is a, a well thought out, well put together uh, uh, item. I think that it will suit a number of people in their needs, especially again, group groups of people. But uh, yeah, so what I'll do as always is I'll put all the information I have regarding this product in terms of its weights, physical specifications, as well as its performance specifications, as well as the links to where you can purchase and find out more about it. That'll all be in the video description below. If you you have any questions or any comments regarding this system or any other system you want to ask if I can get a hold of to review then please put those in the comment section below but until next time get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference bye for now